in this lecture we'll see what are the top python libraries for data science so there are different libraries used for the data science that is tensorflow numpy scipy pandas matplotlib keras scikit-learn and beautiful C. Beautiful soup. Now one by one we will see all the Python libraries. First TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is a free open source software library and it is used for the machine learning and artificial intelligence. It can be used across a range of tasks but as the particular focus of this uh, uh, TensorFlow is used in a deep neural network. So when we have to install the TensorFlow in a Python. Uh, for, for python uh, in a windows we can use pip install tensorflow statement so it is a uh, better computational graph uh, the feature of the tensorflow is better computational graph visualization it reduces the error by 50 to 60 percent in neural machine learning and we can parallelly computing to exit the complex task next is numpy so numpy is used NumPy is the fundamental package for the numerical computation in Python. So it contains a powerful n-dimensional array objects and it, uh, it, it general purpose array processing package that provides the high performance multi, um, multi-dimensional objects and called as array and the tools working with, the, uh, uh, with them. Uh, so when we have to install, if we want to install the NumPy, we have to write the command that is pip install NumPy. The feature of the NumPy, it provides the fast uh, pre-compiled function for numerical routines, array-oriented computing for better efficiency. And the what are the um, different applications of the NumPy is it creates powerful and dimensional array. Uh, it is extensively used in a data analysis. Next is a SciPy. So this SciPy is, that is scientific Python, is another free and open source Python library and it is used for the data science for the high, high level of computation. So SciPy is more focused on the scientific implementation. It provides the many built-in functions, uh, uh, built-in scientific constants. For example, suppose if you want to uh, write the value of the pi. So this is the pi is the constant. So we can... Um, we can take the input that is from scipy import constant and we, if we print the constant dot pi it will print the you know, value of the pi so the feature of the scipy is the collection of algorithms and the functions built on the numpy extension of python it high level commands for the data manipulation and visualization the application of scipy is it's solving the different equations and the fourier transform it is used in a linear algebra and it is also used in a multi-dimensional image operation. Next is matplotlib. So matplotlib is basically is to visualize the data. It's a it's a, a powerful tool for the visualization. So this matplotlib the graphs and plots that produces and it is extensively used for the data visualization. It also provides the object oriented API and which can be used to embed those plots into the application for example suppose we want to draw a diagram from position 00 to position 6 or 250 so here we can import the matplot library as a plt we can import the numpy as a n as an array for mp and we'll draw the x point and the y points so we'll write the function that plt dot plot so it will point it will draw the from x point to y point and if we write the function plt dot show it will show the line like this means our x axis is 0 to 6 limit and y axis is 0 to 250 so in between it will draw the line that is the uh, matplotlib use so matplotlib is application is basically it is the correlation analysis of variable outlier detection using the matplotlib we can detect the outlier here we can uh, visualize the different dist distribution of the data next is keras keras is a powerful and easy to use free open source python library and it is basically used for developing the deep learning projects and neural network models so it is another it is a part of actually tensorflow uh, it uh, means kera supports the both the tensorflow and uh, technio backbones so it is good option if you uh, mm, it is good option 
for the uh, deep learning models and the neural network model models uh, the feature of the keras it provides the uh, fast pre labeled data sets which can be used directly import and uh, and load next is scikit learn so scikit learn is the next python library and which is used for the data science so it's a machine learning library that provides the almost all the machine learning algorithm so this scikit learn is designed to interpolate it into the numpy and scipy so the application of uh, scikit learn is it can be used for the clustering classification regression model selection dimensionality reduction next is beautiful soup so this beautiful soup is a next python library for the data science uh, this is another popular python library and uh, most commonly known as web crawling and data scraping means if user can collect that data available on some website without a proper csv or api so beautiful soup can help them to scrap it and arrange it into the required for format and if we want to install that package if you want to use that package and if you want to install that package we can use the command pip install beautiful soup 4 thank you